started as an idea from a sports editor of the Beaumont Enterprise way back in 1949 has now become a staple here in the Waco area for sports fans. In this edition of Traveling Texas, Ann Harder takes us to the Texas Sports Hall of Fame. Traveling Texas with Ann Harder is proudly sponsored by Richard Carr Buick GMC in Waco. Inside the walls of the Texas Sports Hall of Fame are stories and memories from years past. Doesn't matter where you're from, if you're from East Texas, North Texas, West Texas, you're going to know somebody that's in the Hall of Fame and more than likely they're going to be from your hometown. The Hall of Fame originally began in Grand Prairie in 1981. It was open for five years before closing down. It reopened in Waco in 1993. It's an ever-changing living history of sports in the Lone Star State. We've got over 385 inductees, approximately. We've got over 15,000 objects that, that rotate in and out of exhibits. Those objects range from one of the first Heisman trophies ever awarded, racing silks from Willie Shoemaker, one of Tom Landry's fedoras, and a baseball from the 1920 World Series associated with the inaugural inductee, Tris Speaker. He was playing center field. He was also the manager at that time. The last out is in second base. He's running in to celebrate with his teammates. The second baseman flips it to him. He keeps it, presents it to his mother who had traveled from Hubbard up to Cleveland to watch the, the, the game of the World Series. He presents it to her. She brings it home. It, it stays as a family heirloom. A lot of his collection had burned in a fire, but fortunately that piece had been donated to the museum when we first opened it in the early 80s. So luckily it's still around and we're able to share it with people. Along with the museum displays, the 35,000 square foot building houses a sports simulator. The Texas Tennis Museum and Hall of Fame. As well as the Texas High School Football Hall of Fame. Eleven years ago, the museum expanded to pay tribute to the Southwest Conference, a national power conference until it broke up in 1996. Here, the Southwest Conference exhibit features the grand history of Texas college athletics. If you think about it, there's, there's no Big Ten Museum, certainly not a Big 12 Museum, there's not a, a Pac-10 or 12 Museum anywhere, so, so we're, we're also kind of proud that we can, we can be the home of that exhibit as well. Every year, the Hall of Fame welcomes in new members. Criteria is simple. Has this person brought lasting fame and honor to Texas? During the first week of June, sports writers and personalities from the state gather to determine the new class. And once inducted, new members attend a banquet to accept the honor. For one young Wacoan who made it big, the idea of being in the Texas Sports Hall of Fame came at an early age. I remember I used to see the Texas Sports Hall of Fame all the time. And I've never been in there before. I've never been in, uh, in that museum. But I always wondered what it would be like being there and I set my goals to, um, to one day be there. And actually, it was, uh, it was, a, it was a goal of mine early on to uh, be a part of this, uh, this club. And I'm happy to, uh, to finally be here. So whether you're a lifelong fan or a new one, the Texas Sports Hall of Fame is the place to see the shining stars of the Lone Star State. This year's Texas Sports Hall of Fame induction banquet will be August 28th in Waco. Nine sports legends from Texas will be honored. 